Have you heard of Univer Video, your platform for Christian content? With Univer Video, it's like this. You simply subscribe and you'll have full access to our Christian content from around the world, including the UK and in English. Our main English church services are available for live streaming on Wednesday evenings and Sunday mornings. You can revisit the Sunday morning services anytime and anywhere through Univer Video. There is also the chance to watch our live transmissions, which take place every single day from the Temple of Solomon. There are some meetings that provide simultaneous translation to English. New to Univer Video are the live pastors' meetings in English with Bishop Macedo every Thursday. If you miss it, you can catch up at any time and from anywhere. If you think that's all, how about watching transmissions from over nine countries and in six different languages? All this Christian content is exclusively for you and your family right here on Univer Video. All you have to do is sign up. Already excited to get on board? Well, we have some exciting news for you. For the first 2,000 subscriptions, there is a promotional price of 50% off the annual cost. This means that you get to make a one-off payment of £32.50 for the year and get all this content with no hassle of monthly payments. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Simply go to univervideo.com online or download the application on your mobile device and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card at the ready and simply choose your terms of payment. Before you know it, you'll be up and running. Subscribe today and discover the best Christian content online. Univer Video, a universe of Christian content within your reach. Hello, a very good evening to all of you. May God bless you and may God make you a fountain of His Spirit to feed those who are around you who come into contact with you. Be a blessing. We are very excited about this, um, this Sunday. And in fact, we have some good news. We just created today if you go to our YouTube page from now on, there is now a separate playlist exclusively for the messages of Bishop Macedo. So now if you want a place, one place where you can find all the messages of Bishop Macedo, you can go to our YouTube page and that, uh, that playlist will be updated every single day. So as the messages are ready, they'll be put there so you don't have to Hunt, I'm Pastor Adi. Yes, Bishop. All over social media yeah, and the internet for for where his messages are now. They are exactly. in one place, and I believe it's going to be very convenient for those who want to feed their faith. Absolutely, and these messages definitely, Bishop, will be very uplifting. I'm sure people are excited about it. Yeah. Sunday now we are going to do what the Lord Jesus said to his disciples. We've been talking about this. Jesus said. He, he blessed the bread in the Lord's Supper, and then he said, share it among yourselves. And there was once that the Lord Jesus compared doing the will of God to eating bread. John chapter 4, verse 34 says, Jesus said to them, my food, in some Bible translations, you will see the word, my bread, but it says, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. 
There are two lessons here. You know that when you eat food that makes you stronger, it's like fuel. You can, you can go for another few hours, who knows, perhaps even a couple of days on that meal that you ate. And Jesus said that his food was to do the will of the Father. So now we begin to understand why there are so many people who attend the church, but they are weak in their faith. They are spiritually weak because they don't eat this food. They don't do the will of the Father. They are in the church to seek, to, to meet their needs, to solve their problems, to, you know, to, to have everything sorted out for them. But they don't eat the bread that is to do the will of the Father. And to do the will of the Father, to do the will of God is not easy. If you try to do the will of God, you are going to be like an alien in this world. You're going to be, the world will consider you to be mad, to be crazy. Because this world is all about doing whatever you want. The message of this world, when we open um, people's social media pages, nowadays, messages there are like this. Um, follow your heart, follow your dreams, do what makes you happy. And this is completely the antithesis of the Word of God. It's the opposite of the Word of God. God tells you the opposite. Don't, don't do what you want. Mm -hmm. Don't do whatever you want. That's why Jesus said, my food, in other words, my bread, it's to do the will of my God. And Bishop, as you mentioned, this is the reason why many people are hungry. It's very powerful, this example from Jesus. When, when we are hungry and after we have had a meal, at that moment, we feel at ease. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, we feel it's pleasure. Yeah. You know, we've quenched uh, a problem that we had mm -hmm. <laughs> of, of being hungry. And for, when we look at it from a spiritual angle, Jesus was basically saying, this is what I depend on. Mm -hmm. I depend on doing the will. It's my food. It's, it's what gives me pleasure. It's what I live for. It's what I live for. Mm -hmm. And we see people in church nowadays who, all right, they come to church. They may even say, look, I, I want to do the will of God. But in reality, we can tell that they don't really want to, with their actions, just solving problems. But yet they still feel hungry. They still yeah. feel distant because they're not doing the will of the Father. And 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 Jesus said here that his his mission it's to to do the will of the Father and to finish his work. Yeah. You know, um, over the period of the COVID nineteen pandemic, and we are still in that period. But thank God, it looks like we are now coming out of that period. There have been some really bittersweet moments, including here in the UK. I am aware, even though I was not here, that some, some of our assistants baptized with the Holy Spirit, Pastor Adi can correct me if I'm wrong. Correct. Uh, but I'm aware that some of our assistants, some of them right from the beginning of our church in the UK, some of them not many, but some of them are no longer with us. Is that right, Pastor? Yes, Adi? correct. Yes. Now, this is a bittersweet moment. It's bitter because, of course, if you are watching this program and you are a relative of those people, of course, you're going to feel sad that they are no longer around us. But at the same time, it is sweet because these people are now with the Lord Jesus. And like Jesus said, they finished the work. You know, when you don't eat, at some point, you're going to faint. <laughs> At some point, you're going to fall along the way because you're weak. But Bishop, I go to the church. I eat the, 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 the word of God that is passed to me. But the food that you need to keep you strong is more than just listening to the word of God. It's doing that word of God or, or, or practicing, I can say, that word of God. That's why when you see someone whose life mission Find an assistant in the church that is always strong. The life mission of that assistant, it's to do the will of God. It's the one who 
they don't really care about what's going on in the world. They want to be in the church. They want to counsel the people. They want to yeah. pray for the people. They want to help the people. Same thing with the evangelists. It's like we said here yesterday in the program that when we see an evangelist, that all they care about is how can I help more? How can I evangelize more? How can I save souls more? That is the evangelist who is strong. And, and Pastor Ade, I was telling the people today in the 7 a.m. service, thank God, thank God that starting from next month, the battalion can start rolling up their sleeves Absolutely. to Powerful. evangelize. And I tell you what, there are people right now, we have two groups of people in the church. We have those who say, my God, I can't wait. I can't wait in, in June when these restrictions are lifted, most of them, I can once again be in the battalion, I can go and evangelize, oh my God, I, they are, forgive me for using this example, but they are like a dog on a leash, mm -hmm. right? Just waiting to be, please understand, just an example. They're just waiting to be let go, Yes. right? But we have others. I say, oh, yeah, it's okay, if I can, if I can, I'll, then we can see those who are born of God absolutely, and those who are not, because those who are born of God, their food is to do the will of the Father. Absolutely, Bishop, and, and it's, it's very strong. Even the example that we see now, is you gave the example of assistants who are ready and they want to do the work. And evangelists. Evangelists as well. They have their personal problems. Yeah. They go through their difficulties. And some people may even think, but how is it that Although they're going through their difficulties, it's not shown, you know. They don't show it on the outside. It's like they're always strong. It's because they are always involved in the work of saving yeah. souls. It's what feeds them. Yeah. It's what strengthens them. Yeah. So whoever may be going through a difficulty right now, if they want to overcome that difficulty, save souls. Yeah. So, you know, you, you want to be strong in your faith. You want to be fed. That's, that's what Jesus said. My food, what makes, in other words, what makes me stand is to do the will of my Father. So when you deny your flesh, when you deny wrong friendships, when you deny addictions, when you deny the wrong pleasures of the flesh, and I have to say here the wrong pleasures of the flesh because not all pleasures of the flesh are wrong, but most of them are. But when you deny these things to do the will of God, then you become strong in your faith. You, you are the kind of person who's always with a smile on their face. Of course, we know there are situations that happen in life that if a person would be smiling, would be concerning, it's, there would be something wrong with them. You don't smile when you lose a person, of course, but let's say under general circumstances, the majority of the time, a person who, do, who does the will of God, they always have a smile on their face. They're always happy. They always have a word of faith to give to someone and like Jesus said, he said, and to finish his work. In these bittersweet moments of the pandemic, those who are no longer among us, but they left us while being in the faith, they finished his work. Uh, you, you haven't finished his work. I haven't yet finished yeah. his work. We have some way to go. I don't yeah. know how long, <laughs> but we have to finish his work. Absolutely, Bishop. And this is it. I, I even have a, a personal um, experience. I remember some years back when my mother passed away and it, it was a painful moment. Mm -hmm. Whoever's lost a loved one, I can understand personally speaking, but it still doesn't in any way kill the fire inside of you. It doesn't shake your foundation. It doesn't shake. I mean, there were, I'm sure there were people with family members as well. How is it that you're so strong? You know, it's not really affecting you. You're not down. Or sometimes they think you are insensitive. Abs don't, exactly. Don't Bishop. you feel that? Don't you feel like you know, you're not sad? Of course, because I'm close to the souls. I'm, I'm doing the will of God. He, he's the one feeding me, strengthening mm -hmm. me. And this is what people need to understand. You may go through <clears throat> the most difficult moments in life when you are doing the will of God. God always gives. He always gives back. And, and you know, when you leave your house in the morning, over the next few days, you know we are hashtag share your bread. 
did you see the, the, the little video we did with the, the, the hand giving the bread? Not yet, Bishop. Not yet, okay. If you go on social media on the, the church's page, the church's Instagram, you'll see, very nice. Hashtag share your bread. Every day when you leave your house in the morning, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, ask God, my God, put someone in front of me. And then when you go to the store, smile to the cashier, smile to the person who's at the entrance. You know, nowadays people are so, they're ready to jump at you at any time. And, and you know, it's like people have a, a chip on their shoulder all the time. You can be different. Imagine if you're different, you, you, you go to a, a store and you, you, you're smiling, you strike, a, strike up a conversation with a person. That's an opening for you to say, hey, mm -hmm. what are you doing on Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> All you need to do is to smile, is to, to say, Lord, use me as an instrument. All you need to do is to eat his bread. You want God to use you, eat his bread. Do his will and, and God will use you. But Bishop, I have so many things going on in my life. There's so many, so many bigger problems in the world. Bigger problem than a person whose soul is not saved. You tell me a problem that is bigger than that. It doesn't exist. We, we then understand there is nothing more important than to eat the bread of our God, which is to do his will. Bishop, Jesus is the bread of life. He is the bread. He's the bread of life. I mean, there is no other bread that we can eat that can compare to the bread that Jesus gives to us. And people have to have that in mind. That should be our focus, eating the bread that comes from Jesus. Amen. Let us uh, listen to a few testimonies of faith, people who, in spite of the pandemic, they have been using their faith. They haven't been resting on their laurels, sitting down, waiting for things to happen. They've been using their faith. And as a result, God has been blessing them. When we come back, we'll be praying on your behalf. You who say, Bishop, I want to be strong. I want to eat this bread daily, do his will daily, and I want him to use me. Let's get ready. Hello, uh, my name is Andre, uh, and I'm from the branch uh, of Manchester. I'd like to give my testimony uh, regarding uh, my financial life. Uh, recently, I find myself uh, out of work, you know, for quite some time. And um, prior to that, I worked as a service desk analyst, and in this case, obviously, working uh, with IT, you know, computers, you know, and so on, fixing networks, um, telephony lines, and so on. But I wanted to uh, make a transition, you know, where I would be moving from um, networks into more of a software um, kind of work. But uh, I find it quite hard, or I found it quite hard for this matter, only because obviously I didn't have the skill sets that would allow me um, to work, you know, in this particular uh, field. We then had obviously the, you know, the oil, you know, that we had received, you know, uh, the anointed oil or consecrated oil. And obviously I saw that as an opportunity, uh, as a chance to use it, you know, in my favor. And then fortunately, you know, uh, recently I had an interview uh, with a company uh, and again, obviously, even though I didn't have the skill sets that would um, qualify me uh, for the job, but uh, the interview went quite smoothly. The next day uh, I got a call uh, from the recruiting um, team or the HR team to advise and that I, that I, that I got the job. And, and and obviously the uh, I negotiated uh, the wages or the salary, and in this case is uh, it came up to uh, uh, four thousand pounds more than I earned uh, than I was earning before when I was doing my service test job as a technical assistant.
My name is Shakira. I'm from the branch of Stratford. I am here to talk about how I received the Holy Spirit. Before coming to the church, I was a person who was involved in witchcraft. I was angry, addicted, and also went through spiritual attacks. Even though this was all going on, I pretended that all was okay. I was happy and nothing was going on. Before my friends and before my family, I was happy. Nothing was going on. But when I got invited to the church, I attended one of the services and the pastor, when he was speaking, he was speaking about my life and what I was going through. I was so shocked because I had hid all these things away inside of me and I had thought that no one was going through it. I thought I was the only one going through it. And then I spoke to the pastor, I opened up and I received help and the campaign of Israel came where I got to surrender all these things inside of me, everything that was my traumas, the anger, um, the spiritual attacks, I just gave it to God. I surrendered the addictions. I gave it all on the altar. I wanted to receive the Holy Spirit, but I didn't. But I kept on going. I kept on fighting. And on a Wednesday, I received the Holy Spirit. God had taken over my life. Problems do come, but it's like they don't defeat me. I keep on going and I keep presenting them to God. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. My Lord and my Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, here we are, my Lord, gathered with people who... I'm sure you spoke to them. And now, my Lord, we, we pray for those who right now they're struggling. They're going through a difficult moment and they have understood how important the bread of life is, which is you, Lord. So I ask you to touch this person, restore this person, revive this person, and let this person see that your arms are open wide to receive them doesn't matter who this person is or what they're going through or what they've done let this person know lord that you are with them set them free from all their troubles negativity all the fears the worries the doubts everything that has been trying to pull them down set them free and may they receive my lord your spirit that will enable them to keep on going, to, to persevere. May they receive the bread of life that will transform their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father, when we have one single concern, which is to do your will, you look after us just like a father looks after a son or a daughter. We don't even need to ask because which baby, which child needs to ask the father or the mother for anything? Because the mother, the father, they know the needs of that child better than they know their own needs. And this is how we are with you, my Lord. You know our needs better than we know them ourselves. And when our, our concern is to do your will, my Lord. You look after us. You provide for us. So, Father, we deliver those who are excited, who are joyful to be an instrument in your hands this Sunday to bring their, their, someone who will share the bread with them. Like one day, someone brought them to the church and shared the bread with them this Sunday, this will come full circle as they will share the bread with someone else. 
Father, use their words, put boldness in their mouth, strengthen those, Lord, now who are going through a difficult moment, those who are grieving because of the loss of a family member, grieving because they are distant from a family member. We know in this pandemic we've had people who had their weddings canceled, trips to go and see relatives who were ill canceled. But my God, comfort this heart. And as they, as they are not worried, but determined to serve you, may you look after their loved ones as they look after the souls. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Friend, this is it. As we look after the souls, Jesus looks after us. Tomorrow we'll see you at the same time. Remember you who are a member of the Night Angels, a volunteer of the Night Angels, of the soup kitchen or the food bank anywhere in the country, in the UK. We are going to bless you on the altar this Sunday so God can continue to look after you. May God bless you abundantly. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Bye-bye. Come, Holy Spirit, to touch me, to hold me, to be in your presence is everything I need, the truest friend to me. Raise my hands to worship you, to surrender all my heart to you, as broken as I am. As wretched as I am, you love me, you love me, Jesus, in your love, you died on the cross for me, the burden of my sins you took away, you healed my pain and gave me life, Jesus, in your love, you died on the cross for me, the burden of my sins you took away, you healed my pain and gave me life, Jesus, Jesus, what a precious name. The burden of my sins you took away, you healed my pain and gave me life. Jesus, in your love, you died on the cross for me. The burden of my sins you took away, you healed my pain and gave me life. Jesus, name 
If you would like to donate in support of this work, please do so by any of the following ways. Via online banking, using our details as provided, through the QR code which will take you to the payment page on our website, or via Pingit with the details provided. Thank you for your help.